Today, we are grooming Rizzo, Arlo, and Coco. They are three mixed dogs that I have been grooming for many years. I haven't seen them in about four months, so they're about to have a major transformation. Make sure you stay tuned until the end. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is shave Rizzo. Then he's gonna go for a bath. He has more hair than everybody else, so he needs a shave down first. Rizzo is really old. I have been grooming him since I opened my business. He is blind in both eyes. So he needs a little bit more time and care. Gonna shave him down to number five. Rizzo is also diabetic. Okay, buddy. He is a poodle and a Yorkshire Terrier mix. Okay, and I'll just shave his head in a number four. And his ears as well. Now I won't have to use as much shampoo and he will dry very quickly. Good boy, Rizzo. Good boy. Hmm. You're such an old man. Now I put the pressure down and I am going to wash his face in a tearless shampoo. and really wash those eyes because he's got some gunks in there. He's got some gunks in there that really need to be loosened up first before I trim them. Now he is going to get a towel dry. Good boy. I know we can't see your face yet, but we will soon. And since I have three dogs to do, Rizzo is gonna be in the crate with the crate dryer. And then one of his siblings, is going to come and join him. So I'm gonna turn on the dryer and then I'm gonna start the next dog. Arlo's hair is really thin, so we don't have to shave him first. He can just go right for a bath. Arlo's bath is finished, and now he's going to join his brother in the drying crate. Join his brother, and now they will get blow dried together. Now Coco the sausage is going to get shaved first in a number seven. And then he will also go in the crate. Now Coco is, I believe, a Shih Tzu, Yorkie, and Chihuahua mix. He's got a thick coat, so I'm gonna shave him first. Boy.
Good boy, Coco. Good boy. So Coco is going to go in the drying crate, but I'm going to keep this noose on him because occasionally he gets a little snippy when you try to pick him up off the ground. So if I keep this on him, it'll be easier for me to get him afterwards. If I leave him loose, it could be more difficult. These two have been drying in the crate for a little while. They're mostly dry. So I'm gonna take Rizzo out because he's the first one that I put in the crate. I'm going to finish his blow dry, finish his haircut, and then move on to Arlo, and then move on to Coco at the end. Okay, so Rizzo is done. I'm gonna spray him in blueberry cologne. And now I'm going to start one of his other brothers. Right, Rizzo? Are you all finished, Rizzo? So I shaved him in a reverse four instead of going with the direction of the coat because his hair is very fine and I find it difficult to grab when I'm going with the direction of the coat. And if I go in the opposite direction, it turns out much smoother, obviously much nicer looking, much more neat. So now I'm going to shave his legs in a number seven.
so his legs are nice and blended in. I will do a little bit of scissor work, shave his head with a four. Spray Arlo down. And now Arlo is all finished. And now we're going to work on the last one, which is Coco. Are you all done, Arlo? Do you look cute? Do you look cute? You wanna go home? You're a good boy. Yes, you are. Last but not least, we have Coco. Okay, you ready, Coco? Let's do this thing. Coco used to be really mean the first time I groomed him, and then he's been good ever since. Right? I'm gonna do a reverse three and three quarter on his head first. See how that looks. Okay, good boy. I think I'm gonna shave your ears around number seven, Coco. Let me see. Come here. Good boy. Arlo, must you? You must. Stay, Coco. It is very important that you stay when I am trimming your ears, please and thank you. Good boy. They like it really short around the eyes, so I'm gonna do it really short without it looking too ridiculous. So I use my straight shears to get the shape that I want and remove the majority of the bulk off. 
and then I use my thinning shears to blend it all in. So when I first started doing cocoa, the owner liked his face to be pretty well shaved, not completely off, but very short. But I can't use a clipper on his face. He does not like it. So I use scissors, which takes a little bit longer, but at the end, it's basically the same result. Okay, and Coco is all finished, ready to go home. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed these three amigos and I will see you again next week. Okay, Coco, time to go. I'll go for a car ride. I'll go for a car ride. Let's go.